Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tommy and welcome to Tommy Zach Outdoors. Today I'm going to give you a review of the Boondocks T-Bone Bed Extender. So stay tuned. All right guys, so I've actually had my Boondocks T-Bone Bed Extender for five years, if not more. I've actually been very happy with it. Um, it's very essential to have this if you are transporting your kayak in the back of a pickup truck. I know some guys do it without it if you have like the longer bed, maybe like an eight foot bed. I had this, or I used this before on my, it's a 2004 Nissan Titan, which had the five and a half foot bed. So I didn't feel too secure having, or not having this on it, uh, just cause it had that shorter bed. But I do now have a uh, 2018 Nissan Titan XT, which now has, it's like a 6.7 uh, foot bed. Uh, I haven't really transported my kayak in it yet, but uh, we'll see in the very near future because I actually just got this truck. Um, and I'll let you guys know how that uh, works out for me. I actually probably do a couple videos showing you how um, I transport with my new Hobie Pro Angler 360. Um, I also did transport using my 2016 Outback and my 2019 Outback as well, and this thing works great. Um, as you can see here um, with the padding, uh, it's quite faded. It's faded because it's sat in the sun. Sometimes I have just had this on for, you know, uh, weeks on end just because I got lazy and didn't take it off. Uh, I've actually even had my kayak on with it uh, for, you know, weeks on end as well, which is bad. Don't do that. But it still works great. But that's why these pads are actually uh, faded. There is actually a newer version now uh, from this that has like, what is that, those groovy slots on it, um, which I don't personally don't need. Um, but let me pull it off real quick so you guys can see uh, what damage or where the wear and tear is. So let me pull it off. It's right here, you can see on the top in the middle. This is actually where, you know, my kayak would sit most of the time. So it's gonna actually, you know, kind of shift around as you're traveling, which is fine. Um, and that's pretty much the only wear I've actually got, like on the paint, at least on this section. And you can see it's not rusting or anything. Um, so it's actually holding actually fairly well, considering, you know, this is over five years of use and then being out in the elements for, you know, extended periods of time. Um, the only other place where I actually have some other wear is kind of towards the tongue piece right here. Yeah, so on the tongue piece, you can see a little bit of the rust coming out. That was actually from the hitch itself. I'm sure I could probably, oh yeah, see it's coming off with my fingers actually. So yeah, that there, and then just this part right here. This is actually where it hit the, um, where it touches uh, the hitch itself and you know, it rocks around so you're gonna get that wear that's in there. And then on the back of it, you can see the paint coming off as well. Um, again, that's just where the hitch is because it's gonna be rocking you know, back and forth while it's inside of the uh, hitch and your, uh, transporting your kayak. Um, those are actually pretty much all the major parts of where there is some wear and tear. And again, I've been using this thing for over five years. I've gone through, what, three kayaks now, and then also my canoe as well. You're gonna see that in future videos as well. But this is actually held up really well. I'm very, very happy with this. So if you ask me if I would buy this again, I would say 100% yes. Um, just gives me that peace of mind to know that my kayak is uh, being securely transported. Um, Cause you know, I have mostly Hobie kayaks and those are not cheap kayaks. So, you know, I'd rather, you know, have that peace of mind uh, instead of having to worry about, you know, is my kayak okay in the back of the truck? Is it gonna fall out or what have you? Um, the one other thing, 
What's great with the T-bone is how it's angled like this. Because if you're on any, uh, or if you go on any steep ramps or driveways or whatever, um, it won't scrape because it's got this nice angle on it. You know, you'll see those other bed extenders that kind of have like a 90 degree angle. And those have the potential to scrape on those. Um, and then, you know, you could pretty much damage your bed extender um, and you're damaging actually the driveway or whatever pavement that it's on. But that actually is a really great feature that I think is great for the uh, T-Bone. Okay, so I've been actually very happy with the T-Bone for the past five years. I think it would last another five, um, if not more. Um, I would highly recommend this product if you do transport your kayak in the back of a pickup truck. There are other uh, brands out there as well that probably work out just fine. I just, I worry about the little 90 degree angle and that's kind of why I like this T-Bone and why I went this route. But if you guys have any comments or questions about the T-Bone, let me know in the comment section below. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.